All right, so I want to talk about the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. Because it, you know, coincidentally just happens to be the fourth Thursday of November. For the uninitiated, it's Thanksgiving, a day of giving thanks, or as I like to call it, the day that's awkwardly in between Halloween and Christmas. But yeah, I'm not a huge Thanksgiving person myself, but I do enjoy watching the parade each year. I also happen to enjoy video games, and would you believe that an event as large as the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade includes video game characters? The first ever Macy's Parade was nearly a hundred years ago in 1924, where Macy employees walked through New York with floats, a marching band, and even some animals from the Central Park Zoo. A few years later, in 1927, the first ever balloon debuted as Felix the Cat, an old cartoon character from the silent film era. It would not be until 1993 that we would see the first video game character get their own balloon, that being Sonic the Hedgehog. But while Sonic may have been the first ever balloon, he was actually not the first ever video game character to be featured in the parade. So yeah, Guinness World Records, I'm calling you out. Sure, the world record for the first video game character as a balloon in the parade is Sonic, that is correct. But the first video game character in the parade was actually Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. When originally doing some research on video game characters that have been featured in the parade, I couldn't help but think that a lot of the common lists that you'll find out there felt really short for how big of a deal video games are, especially in a parade that is famous for featuring tons of fictional characters. So I did some digging of my own and came across some interesting information that almost every article and even the official parade's wiki seemed to just neglect. So of course I want to share this information that's not really commonly talked about, and of course I'll also go over the balloons that are famous for the parade, as well as these more niche characters that seem to have been forgotten to time. Eleven years before the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade would see the likes of the Sonic the Hedgehog balloon, we got costumed characters of Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. They look interesting to say the least. Definitely not the best look the characters have ever had, but it's still better than whatever the Ghostly Adventures design was trying to do. These characters actually got featured two years in a row, which is something that most of these characters are not going to be able to say, with the second time in 1983 also including Baby Pac-Man as well. Sadly, there really isn't the greatest record of these guys other than a few rough images we did get, but these pictures are still a better fate than what most of these forgotten video game characters would receive. But yeah, unless I'm missing something in my research or I've just yet to discover anything, the official world record for the first video game character featured in the Macy's Day Parade should go to Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man and not Sonic the Hedgehog like it is currently sitting right now. Sega and Sonic the Hedgehog should still be recognized as being the first video game character with a balloon in the parade, but like I said, the first character to be featured was Pac-Man. Cubert also featured in the 1983 parade that Baby Pac-Man debuted in, but unfortunately I cannot find any pictures or recordings of this appearance. And in the official broadcast of the parade, we just missed Cubert before they cut away from the parade. I understand that showing a costume is not as impressive as a balloon or a float, but this just feels like a tease. You can find the official marching order for these parades and find where these characters should be slotted to be, and while I was watching back on old broadcast archives trying to see if I could find Cubert, they cut to a live show of Cats the Musical right before Cubert shows up. This fate will soon to be common with the future characters I will soon talk about, and it's just disappointing that there's not more pictures or even just a recording of the entire parade in full to see some of these characters that have seemingly been lost to time. And unless I am missing something, I think that this means Cubert in the Macy's Day Parade is technically lost media, which I'm not super interested in the lost media stuff, but like, I am just curious what a Cubert costume walking down New York in the 80s would have looked like. From what I could research and dig up, 1982 and 1983 parades were the first appearances of video game characters in the marching order. My guess as to why so many articles, even the Guinness World Records themselves, miss this is because they are labeled as special characters and not under the video game line that Sonic would eventually be under. And I will also admit that there is a possibility that I missed some characters while coming through this list, but a video game character I can proudly say I did not miss was Bubsy the Bobcat. Honestly, not much to really say here besides Bubsy was in the Macy's Day Parade at some point which I just think is goofy. I mean. This would be the same parade the Sonic Balloon was debuted in in the 1993 parade, so I think any attention Bubsy might have gotten for being a video game character in the parade was just completely overshadowed by Sonic being there. Now, Bubsy did fall under the celebrity characters for the parade lineup, and well, that is something not all of us can claim to be. 
Weirdly enough, I actually couldn't find Bubsy Bobcat in the marching order for this year's parade, which means I would have just ended up having to watch an over two hour broadcast archive in painful detail to maybe try and catch seeing him when most likely it probably cuts away and was actually never on recording. So yeah, I have no pictures to show. Something I can show from this parade, however, is that famous Sonic the Hedgehog balloon. I love that this was even featured in the artwork advertisement for the 1993 parade. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite balloons for video game characters, probably just because I really like the classic design for Sonic and that has just been perfectly translated into balloon form. We don't really get to see a whole lot of Sonic in the parade, but we do get this perfect shot of Sonic's crotch slowly going across the screen, which is just great to see. This particular Sonic balloon would be featured through 1997 until eventually being retired. Sonic himself would make another return later in 2011 with a more updated modern design of the character, and that balloon would be used until 2013 and then once more in 2021. So this next character to be featured in the parade was one that you may or may not have heard of. They are much less known in the wider world, and I'd even go as far as to say that more people have probably heard of Bubsy Bobcat than who we're about to talk about. So kudos to you if you actually have heard this character before now, but we're going to be talking about Pikachu from Pokemon. Yeah, no surprise, the highest grossing media franchise in the world would have a balloon in the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. Pikachu has been in the parade as a balloon ever since 2001, and it's still there to this day. Also, we've all seen those clips of the commentators who mispronounce or struggle with a certain character during the parade because they just are reading a script and they don't actually know all that much about the characters, which is fair enough. My personal favorite of these clips, though, is being the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. In his powerful Super Saiyan Blue form. Absolute classic. But I think I might have just found my new favorite with this Pikachu debut. Just, just take a listen. Calling all Pokefons, are you ready to do what you have to do to take what it be to take to do what it takes to be a Pokemon master? Bringing my two favorite clips together, one year Goku and Pikachu were actually next to each other in the parade. Now, the original Pikachu balloon would stick around for a while, getting an upgrade to include a Pokeball, then another to make him more winter themed with a sweater and snowman, which is my personal favorite. And most recently, they included Eevee along with Pikachu on a Pokeball themed sled. But yeah, Pikachu has definitely had a staying power as a balloon in the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade, and honestly, if I had to guess, I would say he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Also, that whole thing about Pikachu being less known than Bubsy, that, that was a joke. Well, obviously, and I guess you aren't really supposed to explain jokes because that kind of ruins the point of a joke. In the years following Pikachu's balloon debut, we got another forgotten video game character appearance with the honor going towards Spyro the Dragon. Unfortunately, again, this is another non-balloon character that was skipped over by a commercial break when I went back trying to find him in the broadcast archive. But Spyro would have a second chance in the 2014 parade when Skylanders, a very popular Toys to Life game starring Spyro, would get a Macy's Day Parade balloon. Wait, wait, what do you... What do you mean they didn't choose Spyro for the balloon? You're kidding me. He's literally in the center of the box art for the game. Um, okay. Well, I guess I take it back. Spyro actually didn't get a second chance, but Skylander fans did get to witness the character of Eruptor float down the streets of New York. Sure, it's sad they didn't pick Spyro, since that would have been a more broader appeal than just Skylanders, but... I also think they did an amazing job with this balloon. I used to be pretty big into the first couple of Skylander games when they released and even have the Eruptor as a figure, so it's pretty neat to get to look back on this balloon, especially considering how well they put it together. But this brings us to the last video game character to be featured, introduced a whole year after Eruptor in 2015, the Red Bird from Angry Birds, very appropriately named Red, got their very own balloon. Now, admittedly, this was more based off of the movie's design, but those designs were eventually used in the games, and the movie is obviously based off the games, so I guess this counts as a video game character still. Not really much to say, except that, yeah, it's a really well-looking balloon of Red from Angry Birds. Out of all of these characters, the only one with a presence still is Pikachu. Sonic did come back pretty recently for one parade, but that's just about it. I am sure that more video game characters will get featured sooner or later, even if just for a while, but this history of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade turned out to be much more interesting than I had originally thought it would be. I mean, 
to disprove a Guinness World Record is pretty funny, honestly, considering they have teams of people to do research and make sure their records are appropriately awarded and I'm just some kid in his 20s looking stuff up on Google. I do quickly want to mention that there are plenty of other characters that have appeared in the parade over the decades that also happen to appear in video games, such as Spider-Man, Popeye the Sailor Man, and even the M&Ms, for example, but I should go without saying that while some characters may show up in video games, they were not originally video game characters, so I didn't mention them. Sorry to all you M&M kart racing fans who wanted to hear me talk about the green M&M balloon. Maybe next year.